好，第三廿二條咧就問翻 ecosystem 嘅題目啦。X 同埋 Y 咧都係住喺同一個新境嘅，而呢幅圖咧就顯示隨住時間過去啦，佢哋嗰個群組啊個大細嘅變化啦。咁今次咧就問翻啦 ，X 同埋 Y 咧究竟佢哋喺生態上有咩嘅關係？咁我哋先了解一下幅圖先啦。其實佢哋係齊齊跌，又齊齊升，又齊齊跌，又齊齊升嘅。我哋當中係見唔到一個快慢嘅差別嘅，因為咧喺捕獵嘅過程當中，物係行先嘅，捕獵者係行後嘅，所以 A 咧就已經可以 say goodbye 啦。第二咧，我又想講下 competition 啦。如果兩款生物佢哋係競爭關係嘅話咧，如果佢哋淨係講緊一個物種嘅咁啊種類嘅競爭，咁啊到頭來就會令到嗰個 population 咧就唔能夠上升啦。但係而家如果兩種物種佢哋要人競爭，有人贏有人輸嘅話咧，贏嘅咪 keep 住高咯，輸嘅。咪會跌咯，而今次呢個跌咧，哇跌到落零嘅咁犀利嘅兩成，呢、这個咧就叫排除式競爭。咁你話嚇，一定要趕盡殺絕嘅咩？唔一定嘅。如果你真係贏嘅，你咪升咯，啊輸咗個咪跌咯。但係今次啦，你見到一齊升一齊跌，一齊升一齊跌，就冇話一升一跌嘅情況嘅。所以咧 ，competition 競爭都係錯。跟住去到 D 咯，偏離共生。Commensalism 咧就睇下下面呢三幅圖啦。如果係一號仔、二號仔佢哋自己獨立生存嘅話咧，咁咪好正常一個 S curve 啦。咁當呢兩隻生物真係住埋一齊啦，偏離共生嘅時候啦，一號仔就攞到着數，但二號仔其實係冇受到傷害噶嘛。一號仔係正啫，但二係零噶嘛。咁佢不受傷害，咪繼續自己快快樂樂地生存咯，係咪？咁所以啦，呢幅圖又係唔係啊？要跌又一齊跌，要升又一齊升，其實啦都係唔實在嘅。所以呢，答案呢就係 mutualism 啦，佢哋係互利共生，大家係正正嘅。正所謂有福同享，有難同當；有福同享，有難同當。咁呢個先叫做互利共生啊嘛。Question 32 is about ecosystem. Organisms X and Y they are living in the same habitat, and the graphs show you along the time the changes in the population of organisms X and Y. So the question is asking which of the following is most likely the ecological relationship between X and Y. So first of all, let's take a look at the graph. We can see from the graph both of the population of X and Y drops, rise, drop, rise at the same time. So we cannot See any lag phase of the curve. So in the predation curve, the population of prey will reach the peak first, and then the peak of the predator. So you can see the predator curve is lagging behind the prey curve. So that's why option A is wrong. And for the option C about the competition. So for the competition, if there is only one species. It's only the intraspecific competition. So finally, the population size will be flattened, will be limited. But what about two species living together and for the competition, one will win and one will lose. So the lose one may be finally eliminated. So that's the exclusive competition. But before that, we should see the general pattern. The winner, the population will increase. And the loser, the population will decrease. So for this part, can we see that one increases and one decreases? We cannot see it. So that's why competition also wrong. And for the commensalism, that means one get benefit, but the other one not get harm, not get benefit. Or for the species one and two, they live alone, so they just live happily. But when they really come together for the commensalism, so from this curve, species one and two they live together, and then for the curve of species one is a bit higher, so he is the one to get the benefit. However, we do not see the drop of the population size of species two because species two neither get harm nor benefit. And for this curve, we do not see this, so that's why option D is also wrong. Therefore, option B will be the answer, mutualism, because that's the relationship both of them get benefit from each other, because they get benefit when they are living together. So that's why they drop together, rise together, drop together, rise together.